Guys, what's up? So we're starting a new segment. My sister's here for another week. Hola! And we're gonna do something different. I have been getting tons of people with questions and one of them, I so let's call this segment Pillow Talk. And she's here, like I said, for another week and for the, for the next couple nights, we're just gonna sit down and answer some questions. So don't forget to leave your questions down below in the comments and we'll come back and we'll answer them. Call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger, a willing but tonight's question is, somebody wanted to know, would you ever wear an adult diaper? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and ask you that question. Would you ever wear yeah. an adult diaper? Yeah, definitely, I would. I was very traveling, you know, those little tiny um, um, bathrooms in the airplane, I don't like them, um, so definitely for traveling purposes if i have to um travel from in a car from city to another state another state yes definitely i think i would i find it very easy for you just to use the diaper instead of stopping different stops and using a public restroom so yeah definitely I, I know that's a question like i have gotten so many people previously when i first started reviewing adult diapers I had a lot of people trying to figure out, like, would you wear, would you wear? And that is the exact response that I said. I said I would wear because I am still, like I've told you all before, I am a germaphobe, so I don't like public restrooms. But what I have learned to do, honestly, is I've learned to just limit my intake of liquids, and I've and I've learned to hold, hold it in for, like, 9, 10 hours. I can hold it really long because I limit my intake. But I've said before, if 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 I was going on a long trip or something like that, I could see the need if you're gonna wear a diaper. Now, here's another question, seeing that we're on that line. Would you wear an ABDL or a medical diaper? The ABDL diapers, there are the big bulky ones with the beautiful, you know, childlike prints. Would you wear those or would you just stick to a medical grade type of diaper? Okay, it depends. Um, is the medical grade diaper more expensive than the ABDL diaper? Which mm, one? ABDL diapers are more expensive. I think I like the pretty diapers. If I'm gonna, if I'm going to use it, I think I'll want to invest. But my whole thing is, is it recyclable? Can I use it and then wash it? No, it's disposable. So those are disposable. The, uh, just like how you have baby diapers where they're disposable. You one time use, you toss it away. Okay, I think I would purchase a pack because if I know if I'm traveling, I'm going to have to make two trips, one going and one returning. And I want to be comfortable but pretty too. Now the only downside to the ABDL is that they are very big and bulky. And you notice that I've done a lot of bulky and discreet videos. Mm -hmm. And in trying regular clothing, if you're not using it, then I think you can get away with the bulky diapers. But once you use them, I've been told by a lot of people, of course, it is at that point in time, it gets very obvious if you're using it. So the ABDL diapers, they're very bulky. And so that's the one thing, you know, if you're in the airport and you decide, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and not have to stop and use any restrooms, that's gonna be the issue with that. Mm, I wasn't thinking about that. Can you imagine having that extra cushion there? Like everybody would be watching me. <laughs> I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. And that's probably why you have where when people are thinking about going to the gym mm -hmm. or they're going to work, they're looking for more slimmer, discreet, less obvious diapers, the ones that probably don't have all the mm -hmm. squishy noises and all of that. So the ABDL diapers, the big bulky, playful ones, they're really good for at home mm -hmm. and staying indoors. And obviously they are very absorbent, so mm -hmm. they get very, very, very bulky. And that would be a reason why you probably would want to have the medical ones right. or the slimmer ones, right? Everybody, the slimmer ones for on the plane traveling. But I could totally... I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. All right, look, that's it for tonight. We just wanted to pop in. Uh, so I think to summarize it, it sounds to me like she would be willing to use one mm -hmm. as far as traveling and convenience, right? Right. Um, so I know I'm going to have 
we're gonna have a whole lot of people piggybacking on this uh, she's not saying that she would wear a diaper just because you know she wants to be into wearing a diaper because 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 she's just saying out of convenience that she would be open to it if she was taking a very long trip and right. convenience right right airplanes nobody likes those little small dirty airplane bathrooms I must admit, I've never actually used an airplane bathroom. Have you? They're tiny. They're extremely tiny. There's no space. And when it flushes, it's just um, suction, noise. It's just a terrible feeling. Yeah. It's a terrible feeling. Yeah. And I can't imagine as a parent, I've never actually taken my little ones to the restroom on the airplane. Um, typically, we go before we go on the airplane and then manage to hold it in for like three, four, five hours. In the comments, you may drop your questions for our next nighttime chat. I'm thinking that maybe we'll talk about our accent because I know a few of you now that she's more in conversations you're probably listening and thinking like where is she from i'm hearing an accent where exactly and i know i have not really talked about where i'm from originally but we can talk about that on the next video if you're new here subscribe and smash that like button and we will totally see you on our next pillow chat all right bye Adios.